Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to build miniature skating tongs for Walesco, Mamid, or G-Scale logging operations. Skating tongs are iron hooks that we use to move logs to and from their location in the woods to mills. The way we would do this is we would lift them up and put them on rail cars back in the day. Nowadays, they're just used to move them from the woods to a logging truck. What you will need to build them is two nails, thick nails, they have to be thick, some steel wire, a drill bit that is the width of the steel wire, a scratch awl, some copper wire, the copper wire will be bent to the shape of the hook that you want, and we use it for reference. So we'll sit it down right on our little anvil. All you need for an anvil is a 90 degree corner. It's pretty easy. Vice grips and pliers. And a Dremel cutoff blade with a Dremel. The first thing that we'll be doing is cutting off the head of our nail. Once we have cut off the head of our nail, we'll take it and grasp it firmly with our pliers. We'll start with the hook. We take our nail and we'll heat the end up. It has to be the end first because it's harder to put the end of the hook on once it has been bent, which is quite obvious when you look at it with the anvil here. We'll take it, we'll heat the end up, we'll bend it over to make a little bit of a hook. Just to show you what the hook should look like. That's what they should look like. You want them to come in so that they grasp the bottom of the wood. We'll work our way back once we have achieved what we were hoping for, which is fairly easy. And we'll take it one last time and heat it up. And we'll dip it into a pan of canola oil so that it stays nice and hard. We let it cool just for a few minutes so that we can handle it, but just to be safe, we'll use pliers to grab it. We grab it with pliers, and we reload it into the into the vice grips so that it is facing the opposite direction for us. We'll be putting flange on the other end. The flange needs to be parallel with the hook itself, so it needs to be flattened like this on the hook. The reason for this is so that we can take our hooks and we can mount them to the wire. They need to be flat against each other and you can't drill through a round object very easy. Flatten it, you'll need about half a centimeter of flange. Once it has been flanged, take both of your, scrap, or take both of your uh, nails, hooks at this point, and you'll align them so that the ends meet up. You'll mark it with the sharpie, one dot on this one, and holding it, and taking reference, you'll move the other hook out of the way and put another dot on the other. We'll take our scratch all, put it down upon a firm object, we'll take it, we'll take our scratch all, and hold it down, of course not both hooks at once, just one, and you'll beat down to put a spot so that we can drill into it. The drill bit has to be the same thickness as the steel wire. Otherwise, they're too loose and they rattle around and they don't grasp the wood. Once you have drilled your hole, you'll stick the wire through. Just to check it while we can. And if it isn't crappy with it, this is where you'll take it. And you'll take the nails and you'll take the whetstone and you'll sharpen them to a point. It has to be very sharp. It doesn't have to be ridiculously sharp, just very sharp so that they will dig into the wood. From there, take your wire, and it's best to bend the wire itself around an object that is the same thickness as the flanges when they're sandwiched together. So you want to find a piece of metal that's the same thickness as that. From there, we'll bend the first end, get it to a nice 
nice 90 degree edge so that they uh, don't try to fall off this way and the hooks don't come off that way. If it's nice, firm, well, sharp edge, they're not going to slide off. I haven't had them slide off this end. I have a bigger problem with them sliding off the other end. The reason being is because you'll have to bend the other end so that it will still allow it to go on because otherwise you can't get your hooks on that's just a pain because they have to slide on and off like so so that they can go on in the first place. I've been too afraid to actually beat down on it because I don't know how good the steel is I was using and I'm afraid that they'll break if I try to make the edge a little nicer on this clasp. Once you've built your clasp on the bottom, take, it'll take a little wiggling to get them on. Um, once you've built your clasp at the bottom, you'll want to build the hook at the top. The hook at the top is just fairly easy. All you have to do is take a rounded object, kind of like the handle of this. Well, not like the handle of that because it's too wide. What you do is you'll make a nice, pretty little hoop. And then you'll have excess hanging down and you'll cut that off with the Dremel on both ends so that they're nice and square. Once you've done that, you've got yourself a finished hook. This hook will work with G-Scale, Walesco, and Mammids scale logging operations. It looks nice. It looks just like the real deal. The only difference between this and the real deal is it had a uh, C-clamp with a bolt that went through it to put them together. Now, you might be saying that this is a little different than normal ones. These were actually built in North Carolina at the turn of the century. So, it's harder to make them with the flanges that go out like this and then have the uh, extra hoops and that so that it gives the mechanical advantage closing itself. That would be nicer and more prototypical to most logging operations, but this is the easiest way to build it. And they work great. And they look nice. You can, hang, you can hang them on your little steam tractors however you want to. The way I hang them is I take them and just stick them right on the back. Looks nice. I'm gonna stick them next to my uh, wheel chocks, my little rope, and I got my little coal bunker in there. Very easy. 